anybody in here? You come out. Come on, there's no reason for anyone to get hurt here. One. Two. What the? Jack. Carly? <clears throat> I surrender. What the hell are you doing here in the middle of the night? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Al reported a break and he thought someone was robbing them. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't robbing anybody. Then what's the deal? <sighs> Actually, I am. Uh... You what? I was trying to impress Al. You know how badly I need this job, and I know that Al certainly does not think very highly of me at all. Well, his opinion of you is just going to skyrocket when he finds out you're the one who broke in. You don't understand. No, Carly, I don't. Why don't you clue me in? You know how I've been, I've been working the morning shift, right? Yeah. Well, all the other girls, they just seem to, to waltz in whenever they feel like it, and that really drives Al crazy. So, so I decided that I would come into the crack of dawn every day, and I, I really think that Al is starting to notice, you know? <clears throat> Uh, all right, forget it. Here is the, the pathetic truth. You know that lovely nine-star motel that, that I called home? Uh -huh. Well, tomorrow morning it's, it's going to be demolished. And so Carly Tenney, fashion mogul turned heiress turned waitress, is homeless yet again. So you just, what, camping out here on a booth? Look, if Al found you, you'd be out of a job, And too. that would really be a damn shame, wouldn't it? Because this job, this lousy job, is the only thing I have left in the entire world. Carly. It's just, it's fine. I'll find another place to stay. I knew we should never have done this in the first place. Are you trying to convince yourself, or are you trying to convince me? I agree that we should keep what we've got going under wraps, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. I mean, treat, treat each other like human beings rather than some... Sexual convenience. I don't. That's not what I was doing at all, Chris. You know I like you. And prove it. <sighs> all right. Maybe, maybe this could work. This, this being a friend thing in public. Name your spot. All right. Well, uh... Since Carly's already clued in, how about Al's diner? Al's? We'll just pretend to bump into each other. And then we'll try the friendship thing without sending off any major sex vibes. Exactly. We'll pretend like we're getting to know each other and we'll keep the libidos completely in check. <laughs> yeah, right, if that's possible. A little powder and some paint makes a girl what she ain't. Nah, you're beautiful just the way you are. Smart, confident. But I want you to work on finding living arrangements. Well, I have. I... I've asked customers all day if they have any leads. And? You don't even want to know what they've suggested. I think that I'm probably going to end up here again. No, no, you can't. Besides, Elle probably won't let you. There's probably something in the, in the Board of Health uh, rule book that says you can't I'm do that. I'm not typhoid, Mary. No, I'm not saying... Look, I was sitting over there and I came up with a couple ideas, all right? So just hold off on talking to Elle. Me, or at least, the very least, give me a hint. Patience. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's not bad enough I have to wait on actual customers. Now it's turncoat family members, too. What can I do for you? I would like... Which, I might add, is not a question that you asked me when I landed on your doorstep desperate for a place to stay. I'm really sorry about that. Homeless, Molly. A person displaced. A potential vagrant. 
things to you. It is not like I intentionally burned down your no-tell motel or something. And speaking of no-tell, I still cannot believe that you were actually having sex with Andy's little brother. I'm not. Well, you know, Chris and I do have a lot more in common than just sex. <laughs> in fact, he's meeting me here right now. Oh, no, please. Alice has no interest in becoming some sort of adult entertainment show place. Carly, friends are allowed to go out for a little conversation. Huh. And do you really think that you'll recognize him? I mean, it's, it's so rare that you've seen him standing up. I would like a decaf, please. Hold the sarcasm. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I wasn't more hospitable when you came by last night, and I would do anything to make it up to you. I'll, I'll give you my firstborn, or I would if she wasn't already taken. I know that you've been really bummed about your daughter. And I know that, that Andy's little bro brother is probably helping keep your mind off it. But you guys are crazy if you think you're not going to be found out. Chris and I are here to try something new. Oh, I, I don't want to hear about no, that. No, 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 not that. We're, we're, we're here to try the friendship thing in public, OK? So I want you to keep a close eye and tell me if anybody, like, like Jack, catches on or, or gets clued into our chemistry. Oh. And you don't think the steam rising from underneath the table is going to clue anybody in about that? Thank you. Thank you for the support. Molly, I added you at first glance. Complete strangers are going to have their eyebrows singed off. I didn't even want to meet Chris. So I'm certainly not going to wait here any longer. She went? Right, Hurry, please. Okay, 140 out of five. Let me get your change. Uh, keep it. I have got to meet my mother. Place. Andy and Reed slash David. The poor girl's terribly confused, and you're going to end up with your little heart broken. My heart's not involved. Can I and the way your family it? feels about Molly, well, that's going to make it ten times worse. When they find out about the two of you, they are going to treat her so badly. Look, I'm not going to let that happen. Hmm. I know you'll try. But listen, I know firsthand about the dumb things you do when you're young because you think that it won't matter to anybody, but trust me, it can affect the rest of your life. Can, can, can I just have the water? Sorry. Love is great. I highly recommend it. But you and Molly, there's just way too much baggage. Do yourself a favor. Go out, find yourself a nice girl your own age, for God's sake, and fall in love with her. It'd be better for everybody. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Thanks. But it was none of your business. Hey, you're going to have to find another cat. Oh. oh. Sorry, I thought you were. No. No? No, I, I, I'm available. Oh, well, maybe I'll just get another cat. No. No, this is this is a great cab. I'm a, I'm a I'm an awesome cab driver. You you want to stay in this cab? I should walk. No no no. I, I'm 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 a very normal guy. I'm just having a very surreal day. So uh, you're gonna be safe. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Okay. 